This video will show you how to install an altitude kit for operating your Westinghouse inverter generator at altitudes over 2,000 feet. Confirm the altitude you'll be operating the generator and select the right carburetor jet for your application. To perform this installation, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a socket wrench, an 8mm socket, and a 10mm socket. Place the generator on a flat surface in a well-ventilated area. First step is to make sure your generator is in the off position. Next, siphon the gas out of the fuel tank. Remove the two screws that secure the engine maintenance panel to the frame. Keep track of the screws and bolts as you disassemble the generator housing. Slide off the spark plug access cover and push on the maintenance panel to remove it. Locate the clear plastic hose from the float that is exiting out of the bottom of the generator and place a gasoline safe container under it to catch the drained fuel. Loosen the float bowl drain screw until fuel is seen draining from the float bowl. Allow any fuel to drain, then tighten the float bowl drain screw. Continue with the removal of the generator cover. Remove the three bolts at the bottom of the engine access panel and the single bolt near the front air vents. Remove the three screws at the top of the housing. Remove the two screws at the top of the control panel and the two screws under the control panel. Remove the rubber seal in the center of the engine control knob, remove the screw, and remove the knob. Pull the front panel off, leaving the wires behind the control panel attached. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, remove the clip located under the rubber fuel collector. Remove the six screws that hold the muffler to the generator and remove the muffler. Remove the two screws on the opposite side of the handle. And finally, remove the housing to gain access to the carburetor. Pull the spark plug wire off of the spark plug. And pull the breather tube off of the carburetor. Remove the screw in the middle of the air cleaner and remove the foam filter. Remove the bolt inside the air cleaner and the bolt on the right side that secures it to the engine mount. Remove the two nuts that secure the air cleaner to the carburetor and remove the air cleaner assembly. Remove the bolt from the bottom of the carburetor float bowl. There may be some leftover fuel in the carburetor, so have a rag handy to clean any spills. Remove the old jet and install the new jet into the carburetor. As mentioned earlier, make sure you're installing the proper jet for your model of generator and for the altitude. After you install the new jet, don't throw away the old one. Rebolt the bowl onto the bottom of the carburetor. If they are damaged, replace the O-ring where the bowl meets the carburetor and the bolt seal on the bottom of the carburetor with the parts supplied in the kit. To reassemble the generator, replace all of the parts in the reverse order that they were removed. Time to check the installation. Move the generator to a well-ventilated location, start the generator, and make sure it runs properly. If you have any troubles installing the high altitude kit, contact our service team at 1-855-944-3571 or contact us through the website listed below.